in regards to what you just said to Bob about the possible airlifting out of individuals, in regards to the special immigrant visa applicants, w has it been decided yet where they will be airlifted to? And if so, where, please? We're still working through uh, a series of options here, Tom. Uh, we anticipate uh, that we'll be looking at um, um, locations overseas, outside uh, of the United States, as well as uh, U.S. installations um, uh, that, you know, that belong to the United States, either overseas and or here at home. We don't have, I, I don't have a list for you right now, uh, but, uh, but I think it'll be a, a mix of both. And as we get more clarity on that, we'll certainly update you. Just, just to be clear, we'll follow the same criteria you outlined earlier. Those who have passed the security clearance could come within the United States and those without other locations. I'm gonna to defer to the, my State Department colleagues to talk to the SIV process more specifically. Our job will be in locating um, and helping secure facilities uh, and installations that can be used. And as we did with Fort Lee, I think you can expect the Defense Department will lean in uh, to the degree possible that we can to help facilitate the, this movement and relocation. Thanks. David.